What's up guys, welcome back to another video. The other day I picked up a little uh, new project to work on over here. This uh, little O2 Civic Si. Got it for a good deal. And uh, needed an alternator, need some other little things. Did I lock it? Yeah. Um, I changed the alternator out off camera. That was a pain in the ass, that took like three hours. But what we're gonna do today is try and bleed the brakes and uh, see what the exhaust leak is all about. And uh, just see how far we make out with this uh, little project here but you know it's an O2 180,000 miles on it I got it for a steal needs a little bit of work got to order new side marker lights it came with the lip for the front I put that on I'm gonna clean the wheels up the problem I'm having is the brake pedal just goes right to the ground I mean it stops but the brake pedal goes to the ground in order for the car to stop a little carbon fiber spoiler on here I got it locally like down the street but so I'm gonna put it up on the lift and uh, see if we can get the brakes to work. And I'll take you guys along to show you what I'm doing. All right guys, here it is up in the air. I'm gonna clean these wheels up a little bit. Needs, needs a lot of love. The valve cover, as you can see, uh, needs a lot of help. <laughs> it has an in-gen intake on it. And it's also got some, uh, I believe they yep, DC Sports headers on it. And then on the back end, let's see if I can jack it up really quick. Under here, we got all kinds of goodies, I guess you could say. Yep. We got the ASR bar, the Beaks bar, Skunk 2, lower control arms. So, this car's got some good stuff on it, factory exhaust. But what I'm gonna work on now is, I was detailing the trunk, trying to clean it up and vacuuming this stuff here. And uh, what I'm gonna work on now is taking the wheels off, like I said, and bleed the brakes, so. I get back to you and I get done with that. All right, guys, I'm back. I got the brakes all squared away. The car stops great now. What I'm moving on to now is gonna take off the um, take the intake off, take the throttle body off because the car has a high and low uh, surge when it idles. I'll try and start it up for you so you can hear it. I think the battery might be dead. I get a new battery for this car. Let's see if it starts. If not, I gotta jump it up really quick. You get the idea. So what I'm gonna do now is, like I said, take the throttle body off and try to clean it. The uh, idle air control valve, which is down there, you can barely see it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Once I get it off, I'll you take a look at it. All right, guys, as you can see, um, the uh, throttle body is off. There's two coolant hoses going in, one there and one there. And the piece I need to get to is the IAC, which is right here. I got to take it off and clean. I got to take it off and clean it. So rather than taking the throttle body completely out of the car and taking that hose off, make an even bigger mess, I'm just gonna like uh, remove the IAC right here in the car and then put the throttle body back on and see if that solves the problem. So that's what you'll be seeing me do next. All right, I take it out of the car, which is too hard to get to. I was looking at these screws here. There's actually these I have to get to to remove the IAC to clean it. And I broke a bit trying to tighten, to loosen these bolts rather. 
Now I'm gonna break out the impact driver. I put it on here like this and smack it with a hammer to break these two Phillips head screws loose. I'll put you on time lapse and you watch. I had to get a little bit creative here. These are five point Torx bit sock bolts. And I just went and drove all over town and nobody has these anywhere, these five points. Everybody has a conventional six points. So what I did was to get them out, I just got the, uh, the grinder out. I grinded a line straight across and I put the flathead tip in there. Just broke it loose like this. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this one now. Then I can take this piece off, and I can clean off, clean out the uh, IAC, that thing in there. Then pull it all back together, put the car back together, and hopefully everything runs smooth. So I'm going to jump onto this one now. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and try and break it loose like the other one did. Oops. Button down the vise. There it goes, broke it loose. As you guys can see, all I did was just grind straight across. Maybe a fly head. Now on to cleaning out the IAC here. Magnetic. It goes one way, I guess. All right, let me see what I can do. Yeah, now it's moving super freely. It was really stuck before. Now it just spins like super, super nice stuff. So hopefully this was the problem. I'm gonna put it back in the car now and uh, see how it runs. Hey yeah, guys, we got lucky. We found a new screw to replace the one I cut off earlier. Now what we're gonna do is take these out. And just put this thing back in here. Let me go this way or this way, I forgot. This way. A new one over here. I'll put it back in the car. See how it goes. Hopefully this solves the issue.
guys, there you have it. The car is running better now. Uh, it was just a matter of cleaning out the uh, idle air controller. Now everything runs fine. You can hear it purring like it's supposed to for a 17 year old car. Runs great. I'm gonna look into finding a new valve cover. I'm gonna source this plastic piece that goes here from the junkyard probably. I mean, the car is running great. I gotta, I'm gonna order new marker lights for the sides. You know, they're shot. They're over here. What's left of them? This one's shot. That one's got a shot. So I'm gonna get like different ones. Maybe some black ones to go with the uh, the theme of the car. Black and white. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the inside. No check engine lights. Nothing. Everything's like as it should be. Here we go. Ugh. Thing runs great. Got the SRS light on still, but I'll try to figure that one out next. that work <laughs> all right guys that's gonna be it for today's video be sure to uh you know comment subscribe share with your friends and we'll catch you next time